Five Lessons on How to Think Clearly Stoicism by Marcus Aurelius What stands in the way becomes the way. Ever heard this famous Stoic maxim? It encapsulates the essence of clear thinking, a skill mastered by none other than Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher-emperor of Rome. A man who could have had it all yet chose the path of Stoic philosophy to guide his rule, and in doing so, left us with meditations a timeless manual for clear thinking and ethical living. Marcus Aurelius wasn't just a ruler, he was a Stoic practitioner. His reign was a real-life lab for Stoic philosophy where he applied its principles to lead with clarity and moral integrity during some of Rome's most turbulent times. So, what if you could apply the same Stoic wisdom to clear the fog in your own mind? What if Marcus Aurelius's ancient wisdom could help you make better decisions today? In this video, we're about to delve into five transformative lessons from Marcus Aurelius that will help you think more clearly and live more purposefully. Don't miss it. Lesson one, train your perception. Perception is reality, Marcus Aurelius once declared. Choose not to be harmed and you won't be. Don't feel harmed and you haven't been. This isn't just a catchy phrase. It's a life-altering stoic principle. We're all critics at heart, aren't we? We label experiences as good or bad, people as interesting or dull, and situations as fortunate or unfortunate. But here's the kicker. This constant judging is not only draining, but can also cloud our lives with unnecessary negativity. Imagine labeling every interaction on a challenging day as terrible. You're essentially painting your entire day with a broad brush of negativity. Our judgments are often tainted by our emotions, making them less rational than we'd like to believe. We exaggerate using phrases like heartbroken when a relationship ends. Instead of acknowledging the simple truth, the feelings have changed. This emotional language shapes our reality, making events seem worse than they are. The Stoics urge us to exercise caution in our judgments. One powerful technique is to undo your initial judgments. For instance, instead of dismissing a party as boring, why not see it as an opportunity to explore a new venue or meet new people? Even if you don't click with anyone, you've approached the situation with a positive mindset. Marcus Aurelius wisely said, the impediment to action advances action what stands in the way becomes the way. In other words, every obstacle can be flipped into an opportunity. Frustrated with a slow learning coworker, this is your chance to cultivate patience, improve your teaching skills and learn how to manage stress. All invaluable skills for your future. Stoicism teaches us to see the world as it truly is, free from our emotional biases. When you adjust your mindset, you'll find that life becomes simpler, clearer, and far less bothersome. So the next time you find yourself quick to judge, pause, and ask, is this rational? What's the basis for my opinion? Could there be a more positive way to see this? Remember, you hold the power to shape your perception and in turn your life. Embark on this stoic journey of mastering your perception, and you'll navigate life's complexities with newfound ease and joy. It's lesson two. Learn to control your emotions. Mastering others is strength. Mastering yourself is true power, said Lao Tzu. Marcus Aurelius echoes this wisdom, urging us to stop letting your emotions override what your mind tells you. Stop being hypocritical, self-centered, irritable. But why is emotional control so crucial? Could it be the gateway to a life of clarity and purpose? Acting on impulse driven by emotion often clouds our judgment and leads us astray. Marcus Aurelius warns us that anger in particular does more harm than good. But what does it mean to control your emotions? Is it about suppression or perhaps something more transformative? Contrary to popular belief, controlling your emotions doesn't mean burying them. When you're seething with anger due to betrayal, denying its existence won't make it vanish. It will lurk in the shadows, waiting to erupt. So. What's the alternative? According to Stoic wisdom, the key lies in redirecting your emotions. The next time anger engulfs you, pause and ask yourself, 
What constructive action can I take with this anger? Yelling might offer a momentary release, but will it mend the situation or your emotional state? Will it inspire change in the person who wronged you? Instead, channel your emotions into constructive outlets. Engage in a calm dialogue with the person who hurt you. Express your feelings and try to understand their perspective. Alternatively, journaling, physical exercise, or even immersing yourself in a video game can serve as healthy emotional outlets. But what about other emotions like anxiety or fear? Can they be redirected too? Absolutely, instead of letting fear paralyze you, why not use it as a catalyst for action? For instance, if the thought of asking for a raise terrifies you, let that fear guide you in preparing for every possible scenario. Your fear can be your ally motivating you to face the challenge, grow, and prove to yourself that you can conquer it. How empowering would it be to turn your fear into a stepping stone for growth? In mastering the art of emotional redirection, you'll find that your emotions no longer hinder your rational thinking. You'll navigate life's complexities with a serene mind, making well-considered decisions. After all, as Marcus Aurelius said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. So, are you ready to unlock the power of emotional mastery and enrich your stoic journey? Please share your thoughts for everyone to know. Lesson three, unlocking the power of control. Ever felt like life is spiraling out of control? What if I told you that the secret to reclaiming your power lies in a simple yet profound concept, the dichotomy of control? Let's dive in. In the timeless wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, you have power over your mind, not at seat events. Realize this and you will find strength. Why you're stronger than you think, this is the essence of the dichotomy of control, a principle that separates what's in your hands from what isn't. So, when was the last time you felt overwhelmed by circumstances? Could understanding what you can and can't control have made a difference? For instance, you can't change the weather, control traffic, or influence what people think about you. These are beyond your reach. However, you can decide what to wear, when to leave, and who to spend time with. These are within your control. So the next time you're caught in a whirlwind of emotions, pause and ask yourself, what can I control here? Your answer is your call to action. What you can't control? Learn to accept it with grace. The only way to deal with the uncontrollable is to control how you respond to it. A cornerstone of the dichotomy of control is the concept of amor fati, or love for fate. Embracing life's ups and downs not only makes you resilient, but also fills you with a love for life itself. Imagine being turned down for your dream job. It's easy to think there's no silver lining. Have you ever faced rejection and felt like all was lost? What if that was a stepping stone rather than a dead end? Instead of dwelling on the negative, dissect the situation. Was it something you could have done better? That's within your control. Improve and try again. Was it due to external factors like of a politics? Then it was never really an opportunity to begin with. Why mourn something that never existed? Failure is not the opposite of success, it's part of success. Success is another area where understanding control is crucial. If you're an aspiring writer, engage your success by book sales. You're at the mercy of market trends. But if you measure success by your satisfaction with your work, then you hold the reins. How do you measure your success? Is it dependent on external validation or internal fulfillment? In conclusion, strive for your goals with all your might but also prepare for the possibility of not achieving them. If you focus solely on what's within your control and accept what isn't, you'll find an unshakable calmness in any situation. The dichotomy of control isn't just a concept, it's a life-altering perspective. Are you ready to take back control and live a life of purpose and peace? Share a personal experience where understanding the dichotomy of control could have changed the outcome. Let's grow together in this journey of self-discovery. Before we delve into lesson four, I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude for you being here 
and listening to what we have to share. It's our sincere hope that these teachings will usher in positive transformations in your life. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our Stosic in Your Life channel. We're eager to have you join us on this enlightening journey through the wisdom of Stoicism. Lesson 4. Embrace the Virtues What would your life look like if you lessened of embracing virtues and fully embraced these virtues? Drawing inspiration from Marcus Aurelius, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Virtue is the essence of a noble character, a moral compass that not only enriches your life but also serves the collective good. In the Stoic worldview, we are all threads in the intricate tapestry of the universe, interconnected and interdependent. Therefore, when you act virtuously, you're not just elevating yourself, you're contributing to the welfare of the whole. The Stoics held a profound belief. Those who live in accordance with reason are the ones who contribute most effectively to the common good. In simpler terms, they practice virtues. The absence of such virtues, they argued, stems from ignorance. Virtues are your north star in the unpredictable sea of life, guiding you through challenges while keeping you anchored. Ever noticed how people who embody virtue seem to radiate a sense of calm and poise? To walk this virtuous path, one must internalize the four cardinal virtues of Stoicism. Wisdom, justice, temperance, and courage. Wisdom is the discerning eye that distinguishes between good and bad, and even the shades of gray in between. It's the mastery over emotional impulses, allowing reason to dictate what is morally just. Faced with a moral quandary, wisdom equips you with the clarity to weigh your options judiciously. Justice follows wisdom serving as its bedrock. It involves a steadfast commitment to fairness and equality, not just for oneself, but for society at large. It's not merely an option, but a duty, a duty to yourself, to others, and to the community as a whole. Next in line is courage, the fuel that drives you to act despite personal fears or uncertainties. Courage isn't about eliminating fear, but making the deliberate choice to move forward, breaking through emotional barriers. Finally, we arrive at temperance, the art of moderation. It's the practice of self-control, restraint, and discipline, qualities that Marcus Aurelius believed set humans apart from animals. Temperance is the key to long-term well-being often at the expense of short-term pleasure. Take, for instance, a bag of chips. The immediate joy of devouring the whole bag is tempting, but temperance advises moderation for the sake of your health and overall well-being. Wisdom in this context helps you gauge just how much is enough before you decide to stop. Stoicism classifies actions and things into goods, evils, and indifferences. Pursuing the good, avoiding the evil, and being indifferent where it doesn't matter are the guiding lights. Straying from these virtues is akin to inviting chaos into your life, be it through theft, disrespect, or recklessness. So, these virtues are not just stepping stones for personal growth. They are the building blocks for a life of serene composure. Aligning your actions with these virtues ensures you're always on the path of righteousness, guided by reason, and consequently, cultivating a tranquil mind. Now here's a question to ponder. How can you start incorporating these virtues into your daily life to create a ripple effect of goodness? This lesson invites you not just to listen, but to reflect and engage. After all, the journey of Stoicism is not a solitary one. It's a communal quest for wisdom and virtue. Lesson five, embrace a broader perspective. Ever felt like you're drowning in a sea of problems unable to see the shore? What if I told you there's a simple shift in perspective that can turn your life around? Stick around to discover the secret that even Marcus Aurelius swore by. In the Wizards of Plato, a bird's eye view gives you a whole new perspective on life. This isn't just poetic. It's a practical tool for mental clarity. Imagine navigating through life's challenges as if you're stuck in a crowded room. It's suffocating, isn't it? But what if you could rise above it all and see the room from a balcony? Suddenly, the crowd doesn't seem so overwhelming. Life is 10% what happens to us and 90% how we react to it, said Charles R. Swindoll. 
This is where the Stoic philosophy shines. When you detach and look at the grand tapestry of life, you realize how small your problems are in the grand scheme of things. You're but a single thread in an intricate design. Let's take a real world example. You're at a crossroads in your career, torn between the comfort of your current job and the allure of a new opportunity. It's easy to get lost in this binary choice, but have you ever considered a third option? Maybe a side hustle that aligns with your passion? The only way to do great work is to love what you do, Steve Jobs once said. So why limit yourself? The beauty of a panoramic perspective is that it doesn't just help you make better decisions, it enriches your entire worldview. You start to see the interconnectedness of all things, a core, stoic belief. We are not given a good life or a bad life. We are given a life. It's up to us to make it good or bad, Maurer, so make yours count. Now let's talk about responsibility. In the heat of the moment, you might think that your actions don't have consequences. But consider this. The flap of a butterfly's wings in Brazil can set off a tornado in Texas. Your actions ripple through the world. Even something as small as littering has an impact. When you step back and see the bigger picture, you realize that your actions matter, not just for you, but for the world. Marcus Aurelius was a fan of reflective journaling. He believed that asking yourself questions like, what's the long-term impact of my actions? Or how would someone else view this could offer profound insights. So the next time you're faced with a dilemma, take a step back, ask yourself these questions you'll find that the answers not only clarify your thoughts, but also guide your actions in a way that benefits both you and the world at large. In conclusion, adopting a broader perspective isn't just a stoic practice, it's a life skill. It's the secret to breaking free from the chains of your immediate concerns and embracing a world of endless possibilities. So, are you ready to change your vantage point and, and turn your life? Thank you so much for joining us today and diving deep into the world of stoicism. We hope that the lessons and insights shared in this video have inspired you to incorporate stoic wisdom into your daily life, fostering personal growth and a profound sense of happiness. Remember, the journey towards a more content and resilient life is in your hands and applying these stoic practices can be a transformative step towards achieving that. We encourage you to reflect on these teachings, challenge yourself to adopt these practices and share your experiences and thoughts in the comments below. Your journey and insights could be the inspiration someone else needs. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, share it with friends and family who might benefit from it, and subscribe to Stoic in Your Life Chanel for more content that aims to guide you on your path to success and happiness. Become a part of our community by joining as a channel member, and let's grow and thrive together. Thank you once again for watching, and remember, Stay connected, stay inspired, and let the wisdom of Stoicism guide you in every step of your life's journey.